Welcome to Magic Mike Mystery Tour, day 15 out of 30, mind you. Uh, we are at the midway point of this adventure. It's been crazy, it's been wild. We've had jam-packed football. It's getting a little bit thinner with regards to the football, not with regards to the me. Uh, I'm not getting any thinner, but, uh, but look, it's an old-fashioned cup tie tonight. League cup, round, whatever it is, five, quarterfinals, final 16, whatever it is. I don't care until we're in Wembley playing the final. But, um, but it's going to be an old-fashioned, old fashioned, crashing, crackling time tonight. Um, it is Tuesday night, and it's a 7.45 p.m. kickoff, so most people are working right now. So we're going we're gonna to just kind of take a solo stroll around N5, Highbury, the local businesses, uh, until we finally meet up with some folks closer to 6 o'clock. So uh, grab a couple beers, and let's go. One of the first things I like to do on a game day is just reminisce, just kind of soak in the atmosphere at Highbury, center of the pitch, east stand behind me, north bank to the right. It ain't what it used to be, but look, what are we gonna do? Uh, many league cups played at this place, uh, the last of which was a, a two-legged affair against Wigan, second leg in 2006, within a couple of minutes of, of sealing a comeback victory into the final and Wigan snatched it at the death and wins on away goals. So, uh, you know, League Cup hasn't been our our, uh, our purple patch over the last, uh, I don't know, 30 years. Uh, but uh, i got a feeling this year's gonna be a little bit different. So, City, we're coming for you. Hi, buddy. I just love being in you, which I don't say to anyone else because that would be creepy. Come on, you guys. <laughs> One of my favorite bits of a game day, walking out and hitting Gillespie and the smell. The smell of birds. Scarves, if you can smell them. Sausages. It just feels like football. I do care quite a bit about whether we win tonight, but right now, all I'm thinking about is this. After a few crazy nights at the Tali, the Pins, going to the Arsenal Supporters Club is a place you have to visit. The place is full of memories of the Arsenal. I mean, all this memorabilia. I'm seeing Super Kev all over this place. I'm seeing the Invincibles, all my favorite players from the George Graham era, and of course before that. It is a fantastic place. This place will be shoulder to shoulder. You wouldn't be able to see each other in, in, in about, or, or see past each other in about an, an hour or so. But uh, if you've never come here, it's on Gillespie Road, left out of the Arsenal Station, and you must check it out. Good beer, good people, and amazing stuff to look at. Before game time, just left the Arsenal Supporters Club, picked up some rando named Tom. I, you know, Toms follow me everywhere I go, and they get better. I don't. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we're teams out. What do you think we got tonight? I mean, look, let's not let's not bitch about this team. Nine changes, winning or or, or is it not enough? Or should Arteta leave now? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, it should leave right now based on that line. No, it's, I mean, it's, it is what it is. I, mean, I was expecting big changes, but I think there's nothing there to beat them. Leeds have gone quite strong as well, so we should expect a competitive game and 
hopefully it'll be enough to get through it, basically. As, as usual, uh, I said there would be very few changes, maybe one or two. There were nine. So, uh, so yeah, keep, keep following me for all your football knowledge. time in this game, but it wouldn't accept my card because I'm a deviant yank. Come on, you guys. Oh, the beer's here. Tried to put a bet on the NSR score and get time for us because we weren't guaranteed money. And it wouldn't accept my credit card because I got a yank card that doesn't like gambling. So you want to go over and do Guaranteed money! I'm not saying Tom's young, but this scarf of mine was six when he was a fetus. So, and I've sweated more on this than I have on him. And yes, that is how boring the game is at the 39th minute. You know, victory, head to Itali, have a couple beers. We're in the next round. This scarf gets me wins. It gets us wins. 32 years, this scarf. It's older than Tom Canton's grandmother. It's older than fetuses that were born in 1967. That makes no sense whatsoever. But look, I don't care. Small games, medium games, large games. We win. We win, and we're happy. Right? We win, and we're happy. We're uh, these Yeah, that's that's, that's that's a bit bad luck, right? We're on the rebuild, though. All right. Well, you know. We want to lose these games. We're up for it. You, you need to consolidate your league position. <laughs> you too, mate. You too. Yeah, yeah, us too. That's a wrap on a League Cup winning Tuesday night. Good friends, good beers, good food, good play for some of the game. Uh, look, man, uh, it, it's just a fun experience. League Cup football is a different sort, and, uh, and I truly enjoyed it. This has been Magic Mike's Mystery Tour. We got another game day vlog coming to you on Saturday away against Leicester. You're going to catch us on the train. You're going to catch us in the pub. You're going to catch us getting our asses kicked by people from Leicester. Uh, the whole thing's going to be worth it. So with that being said, I'm signing off. I'm going to have a bite of this victory pizza and come on you Gooners.